hey there, hi there, ho there. Good to have you back for another episode, eh? I am Canadian, so I can talk like that, don't you know? Anyways, we're here doing some fiberglass and work. Super excited to get this done on the Sun Raider. Um, one disclosure, I have never fiberglassed before. I don't really know 100% of what I'm doing with fiberglassing, but we've got some sweet West Systems epoxy and hardener with the little pump kits to make it easy. Um, I'm gonna put the link in the description below, all the stuff that I used in this process, um, so you guys can check that out. I do recommend getting the pumps because mixing this, you mix a five to one ratio. When you use these pumps, you pump one pump of this guy, one pump of this guy, and that's a five to one ratio. So you don't have to worry when you're using the pumps. It does you know, a little bit more work. You're constantly pumping stuff. Uh, yeah, this was an adventure. This was a lot of fun. So hope you enjoy the video and let me know, like, comment, subscribe for more. We're gonna be building this uh, Sun Raider. So glad to have you along. First, we tried to use this drill and a wire brush to start sanding and prepping and that didn't work too well. Just wasn't very efficient. Next, we shot at it with an orbital sander for some odd reason. And that's more for finishing, so that didn't work too well either. And the bench grinder saved the day. Thanks, Fife, for letting me borrow yours. Anyways, this is the best tool to grind and sand down uh, the surface, get it all prepped, get, you know, a centimeter or two of a little bit of a transition down so that when you lay the new resin and mesh on there, it just has something to bond to. Then we use some cardboard to trace out some templates and cut them out. Why in the world would you do that? Well, we slapped them on some wood and traced it out real easy. Clamped the wood down and we used a jigsaw to cut out the wood. I'm sure you already have a jigsaw. If you don't have one, highly recommend using it. It was definitely very useful in this and going to be very useful in the rest of the build. They also make these super high-tech, futuristic, circular cutting blades in which you can cut a circular motion. It was pretty awesome. And then uh, we had to go back, trim up a little bit more there to get just a perfect fit. All right, so now I'm gonna take this wood piece and I'm gonna use some fiberglass tape and I'm gonna tape it on the inside here. So I'll be honest, this step was kind of silly and unnecessary, but I wanted to show you me uh, fumbling around with this tape because uh, it's kind of funny. No, the goal of the fiberglass tape was really just to have it hold the wood on while we were fiberglassing it and then the fiberglass would stick to it too so i figured that was good what was more effective was simple packaging tape on the outside um, that we fiberglass from the inside and removed the packaging tape after we were done and it cured this one uh, i've got the piece of plywood in there taped from the outside fiberglass taped from the inside and then we're just going to lay some sheets of fiberglass over top of this. Everything's all ground down. So yeah, we're going to do that guy. This guy over here. So first we put these stronger biaxial fiberglass uh, mats over the holes rather than the chopped mats. Excuse the oddly shaped uh, piece of fiberglass mesh I'm about to throw down. But nonetheless, this was a easy fill of one of the holes. As you can see, no wood uh, in there. Got to make sure as well to put some fiberglass resin on the base there, Phil. There you go. All right, so as you can see, as you paint it in, these sheets really just disappear. Um, it's really quite magical. And from there, just kind of keep layering it up and keep adding them on and smoothing it out.
now that we've fiberglassed from the inside, we're gonna take off just the simple uh, packing tape. And then we're gonna mix up uh, some resin with some, I'm forgetting what it's called right now. This It's called silica powder. White powdery stuff. Pretty excited about that. Silica powder, that's the name of this stuff. Oh, that might be too much. That peanut buttery consistency. Why don't I have my mask on? You should probably just have your mask on like the whole day. You might just wanna just get it just stuck, stuck to your face there. We're in search of peanut butter. So this powder too is just like a thickener and it makes it easier to sand as well. It's pretty thick now. Awesome! It's done! And it worked really well, and it's rock hard, and I sanded it, and it's semi ready for paint. Could use a little more filling. But anyways, super excited on how my fiberglassing uh, patches turned out. All right, so that was a couple weeks ago. Since then we've done a lot of other fiberglass work and actually learned a lot. Um, oh, still in my work clothes. Yeah. Huh. Sorry, that's much better. Anyways, um, yeah, we've done a lot of fiberglass work since then. A couple things I learned that I did kind of mess up in the video. Um, so for the outside, I should be doing what's called fairing. Fairing, using, it's called fair, fairing product. I don't know, something like that. Um, but you mix it together, it's kind of like Bondo basically. And that's what you want to finish your fiberglass work with. Um, so anyways, check out fairing compound. I just bought some total boat, total fair uh, that I'm gonna be using to finish this stuff up. Second thing that I learned when using wood to fill in your holes like I did here, um, this wood was kind of popped out a little bit. And so to sand it, get it smooth, I actually had to sand into the wood a little bit. And at the end of the day, I don't know if using wood is the best thing to do. It was just easy enough. Um, it did come out really strong. This wall does have some wood in it, but I'm okay with that. So overall, I think it turned out really good. Um, this is one of my favorites though. That guy right there, I just think that looks so cool. It's like all blended in there. Anyways, those are the things I learned. Hope this helps you. Um, if you're gonna be fiberglassing on your own, I definitely encourage you to do it because I knew nothing about it. I was intimidated about it because I didn't want to mess anything up. And it ended up working out great. Pro or someone who really knows more about fiberglassing might say this was silly to put the wood in there. But hey, it worked, it worked great. Do it, if you got some fiberglass work to do, do it. You can hire someone, but just learn it. There are so many things in my life that I'm like, I'm gonna fiberglass this from now on. So anyways, good times. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can check out all the projects we're doing to actually get this rig running and up on the road.